Welcome back here on the Gear Reference channel. This time I want to make a video in English because the writing of the subtitles um, is much work and now this time I will try to do it in English directly. So this time we are in the late 90s and in New Zealand. Here we see a New Zealand assault vest. This is the standard issued assault vest of the late 90s. This vest was in use up to the mid 2000s and then it was replaced by an assault vest with a much different configuration. More different pouches, more different open, opening systems of each pouch and it gives much more options to the soldier itself. This one is basically an ammunition carrier. Here we see the New Zealand DPM and here the New Zealand, New Zealand Desert DPM. On this vest the colors are a bit fading due to the sun but this makes the look more iconic and I like it very much. The basic vest and the netting material of the ground vest is inspired by the waistcoat of the British Army and um, this is typical for the 90s and for vests that were made in the 90s um, that they used all the same cut with the netting at the bottom and the soon on pouches, zipper at the front, etc. We see this vest in the Afghanistan campaign with New Zealand troops, everyone who had boots on the ground and with the special air service at the beginning of the campaign until it was replaced by the next gen. Now let's have a look in detail. In the middle we have two plastic buckles to open the vest or close it of course and a zipper and then we look at one panel because both are identical. At the top we have two double mag pouches closed with Fastex uh, plastic buckle. At the front is a little bit reinforced with a rubberized material. The New Zealand Defense Force used during the time the um, Steyr AUG and uh, later even M4 variants, M16 etc. So in, the, in these pouches fit two mags each. The mag pouches at the bottom fit three mags each and they are identical. Just a big uh, just a little bit bigger and they fit to uh, 762 uh, magazines too. So here we have four max, six max, 10 max and the other side so 20 max and that's a lot of firepower the soldier can carry. Here we have a little grenade pouch closed with plastic buckle too. Grenade fits in and it can be closed. Here we have the big utility pouch, same reinforced material. Here is a one quart canteen, in the other side I have something else, but a one quart canteen fits perfectly. Let's look at the, this one isn't dated, this one was dated. 1999 is the date of this vest. Normally here is a tag soon in, but uh, here is, it is missed. This is often in, on old vests that the tag is missing that was soon in. Here's the inside of the vest, nothing special except on both sides. We have a compartment inside the vest and here regularly on British made vests, European made vests, here is an integrated holster. But here we have on both sides a um, pen, pencil holder for three pens. The shoulder part is a little bit reinforced and double layered with netting material. It's a little bit softer um, for the shoulders. Then we look at the back. Here we have the side adjustment. The vest was issued in different sizes and here you can adjust it a little bit more to your body. And the last thing is here the carry handle or rescue handle to 
grab it and pull the vest. Now that was everything to this New Zealand made assault vest. Then I would like to say thank you for watching this video. We'll see you the next time. Uh, please write in the comment how do you think about uh, videos in English and uh, not subtitles. See you soon. Goodbye.